was a prophecy. Hallelujah. Amen. But people don't, did not know that the ten is God who gave them song to them to sing. So that number ten is the name of the Lord. So I want you to know that if you work, and the Bible says you have to give a, a one tenth to the Lord, you have to do so. So it because it was a commandment for God. Hallelujah. Amen. Today I want you to come. I want to come into my message. Be strong in the Lord, because if you are not strong, you cannot pay your tithes. Many people will deceive you. Many people will destroy your mind not to give your tithe to God, not to give your tithe to the church. But if you did not do so, the heavens will close for you. And I want you to know that if you sit under them, if you, you, you are under the God and you don't pay your tithe, heaven is already closed for you. Amen. You will not receive any blessing from God. Yes. But today, I want to encourage you. I want to quicken your heart for you to begin to give more and more to the Lord so that the heaven will, will be open for you. Without wasting my time, let's open our Bible to Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 11. And after we read John Matthew chapter 24 verse 3 to 5. I'm reading Ephesians chapter 6 10 to 11. He said, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Amen. Amen. Shall we quickly read also Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24. Verse 3 to 5. I'm reading. Now, as he sat on the Mount, Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him, privately saying, Tell us, when will these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming? and of the end of the age. Four, and Jesus answered and said to them, Take heed that no one deceive you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and will deceive many. Amen. Amen. Many people will come in my name, that they are Christ <coughs> and deceive many. When you read the Bible says Jesus Christ was on Mount Olives. All the time he told the disciples that a time will come they will not see him no more. And when he go he will come back. But the disciples did not understand what he was saying. But one day, they want to know the day and the time Jesus will come back. But Jesus Christ told them that even him, he did not, he did not know the day. And the Bible says, Jesus Christ was on Mount Olives. And the disciples went there and asked him, if you don't, if you, you don't want to tell us the day, we want to know the sign. And Jesus told them that be careful that nobody deceive you. Hallelujah. Amen. Now people are deceiving a lot of Christians. Many pastors are deceiving a lot of Christians. Many teachers are using the name of Christ to deceive.
deceive many people. When you go to internet, when you go to Facebook, many leaders are saying that even to wear a, a earring is not good. But Jesus Christ was telling the disciples that you have to be careful that nobody deceive you because they will come in my name. They will use my name, but they are not from me. Many people are in the church. They are deceiving a lot of Christians. But today, if you are here and you are deceiving people here, woe unto you. May the heaven close for you. Amen. If you are telling somebody not to pay your tithe, I'm telling you today that if you are not careful, the heaven will close for you. Jesus Christ told them, be careful that nobody will deceive you. What we read from Ephesians chapter 6, when Paul wrote all his scripture for Ephesians, at the end, he said, finally, be careful, be strong in Colossians, that nobody will deceive you. Because Paul knew that what he was writing is from, directly from God. But he, they will have um, other people to come and change what he wrote to them. So he told them that you people have to be strong. If you are not strong, what they will come and tell you? He said they, they are the walls of the devil. What they will tell you, you may think that it is true, but it is not from God. My prayer is that today God will open your eyes. My prayer is that today God will touch your heart to know what comes from him. Yes. to understand his word, to walk before him. My prayer is that today God will make you strong to take decisions that come from him because he is the one. He is the almighty God. The Bible says when we mention his name, every knee bow and every tongue, bow, every tongue will confess that he is the Lord. This is the word of God. This is the message that comes from God. That to pay your tithe, you are not giving to anybody. You are not giving to the church. You are not giving to the leaders. But you are giving to the Almighty God. Hallelujah. My prayer is that the year 2016, may God open heavens for you. Amen. May God touch your knees. Everything you need in life, everything you want in your hand, may God give it to you. May you understand the word of God. May you be strong in the Lord. Hallelujah.